For us, it was important for it to feel like a contemporary musical while still giving importance to those pastiche styles that travelled through the 30s and 40s and 50s. So it was really a lot of experimenting, a lot of finding the right particular feel for that particular moment in the piece, not only historically, but also as a reflection of what was occurring in the story. The show kind of has two distinct musical modes. So, you know, on the one hand, it's a work of contemporary musical theatre. And certainly when we're in the interior world of the characters, um, there is a sort of contemporary music theatre voice and style that reflects their interior worlds. But at the same time, we are tracking this historical period of the last three decades of the Tivoli circuit. And so the music gradually shifts throughout the show to reflect that change in the time period. I think being a performer, it's always interesting hearing stories about performers and how they arrived where they are. And there's such a striking similarity between them, both kind of physically and vocally actually. Everyone knows that staging at the Hayes is a really special experience because we travel from really an epic kind of desert backdrop to the epic you know, Tivoli Theatre and we have to do that in a condensed space and I think that really helps us focus in on Evie May and her story and the people in her life. I think everyone should come and see the show. Obviously it's going to appeal to an older generation, but I think young people should come and see it to understand that theatrical history. We've tried to build a contemporary musical that reflects and plays with elements of Australia's theatrical history. We want it to have the feel and the taste of the Tivoli without recreating that. I don't think you can fully recreate that. I'm most proud of the, yeah, the fact that, that we've built a musical and here it is getting put on. It's something that I personally n never foresaw happening.